This is the attack on Little Round Top, and this is the third core. And notice all the three star infantry. We have some snipers, three star, of course, and a couple of two star infantry, which are going to come in and grind some more experience. But most of this is going to be done by the, this three star infantry. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of two star infantry, which. Um, didn't take that many losses on the first day. The first day was bloody. I'm showing you that I swap out Lee into first division and uh, General Allen has a speed perk. So again, I should have really had speed perks for all of my generals on uh, the first day. So 93,000 versus 43,000. Sounds like an easy battle, but with three star infantry, well, this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight three star infantry. I actually have 12, but I think the game somewhere takes one of my three-star infantry and they kind of disappear for the battle. Not entirely sure why. So... Okay, my sniper is targeting his artillery unit, getting some easy hits. Unfortunately, his artillery runs away. Yeah, he takes one look at those two three-star infantry units and wisely runs away. Okay, first thing we want to do is just get up and engage these guys with everybody. And I don't want to push too hard on this line. I want to be able to get around the enemy a little bit before I push. Yeah, the snipers are now in place to take shots on his artillery. The center of his line is kind of broken. And we're moving into the woods right there. So, yeah, these units are on the left. I want to keep them to the left. These guys in the center, I kind of want to bag them. It doesn't work out quite that way because from this point on, he's kind of just going to run away. But I have my infantry about where I want them on a uh, big round top. And of course, you cannot take the flag. I mean, this is one of the big things. You cannot take the flag at little round top. So yeah, all these guys on the left that are routing, they're going to route all the way back to the edge of the map. These guys here have just collapsed. I don't want to push too hard on them. I want to get around behind them. And then if I can, catch them and encircle them to the right of Little Round Top. But they're taking monster losses. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but they're just getting just hammered. Every time my three-star infantry fire at them, some of these guys have, one unit has 61s, a couple of them has CS Richmonds. Every time they fire, they just cut these guys to pieces. 
and yeah, it's it's bloody. Like one unit already surrendered. He just gave up. He said, "Nope, I'm done." Yeah, these guys on the left, seven hundred and a thousand, and they're just just being torn up. The guy in the woods couldn't take it. He got hit with a three-star unit from the flank. Thousand men, three stars, just routed. And he's now at about a thousand on his way to nine hundred and something. And that's just it. I mean, we're hardly into this battle, and his line has just completely collapsed. Okay, I'm kind of happy this guy broke away. That's nice. I might be able to capture him. And, yeah. He bumps into a three-star infantry and he just surrenders. There's another unit caught. Yeah, now they're starting to shatter. I'm perfectly happy with that. They can shatter. Yeah, eight minutes. My guys are in really good position. Now I have a bunch of guys stacked up to go to the left as soon as the map opens up. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of wondering where all my three-star units are. I only have... I'm not seeing 12 of them. Yep, and here comes uh, the rest of my infantry, and uh, I think they're all two stars. So I have three three stars that took almost no losses, and they're walking off to the left um, to kind of capture these guys and put an end to them. And he's going to have some more reinforcements come in at that same location, actually a couple of different waves. And we want to take those guys out too. Now as I understand it, I can't take the other flag either. My goal in each one of these battles um, is to have several units of around 500 men survive because if the AI doesn't have enough units he surrenders at the beginning of day four. I want him to not surrender at the beginning of day four. I want to capture all of his, or kill all of his calf. He has a bunch of calf that comes in with good weapons, and I want to kill them. So, um, I figured, well, you can't take the flag, and you can't wipe them out, or the battle ends. So, yeah, what, I, what I've decided to do is, like, chop these guys down, so they have a couple units left, preferably around five or six hundred men. So they can't put up any real resistance or do any damage, uh, but the game doesn't give me a victory. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, there's Lane has killed 800 and lost 17. So Lane is a little undersized because I didn't have enough weapons for him. So his numbers look a little lower, but he's only lost 17 men and killed 1,800. And that's kind of... Um, that's kind of the numbers these guys are getting. Killing 1,800 and losing 18 men is kind of what my three-star units are going to do today. That's just what they do, and it's pretty remarkable. These guys are two-star. All they need to do is walk up and exchange shots with these guys and grind XP. That little, um, the W2 is a Whitworth and non-scoped, and he's going to get like a thousand, he's going to get over a thousand kills. So, okay, his troops come in. We get into a little melee. I'm thinking, hey, why don't we just get a capture with that guy? Yeah, 
Yeah, I need my three stars not to fire into each other. That would be nice. Yep, and he surrenders. So there's another 1,000 captures. That was easy. Here's another 700. These guys are all doing fine. Three on one, two on one. The guys kind of to the right are in good cover. Yeah, for some reason I can't get his supply wagon. I guess he routes off the map. I don't know. Okay, now we might as well send people to the right side. On the right side of, like, the to the south, uh, he's going to have some reinforcements come in. Well, I think more reinforcements come in here at this location. That's why I have some units just stay here. And then further to the south, there's a um, another division or so that comes in. So we need to get people in position there. These guys here are more than enough. They could wipe this force out, but I can't wipe them out. So I've got to do this thing that I'm doing here, which is just chip away at them, but don't push too hard. Yeah, we have three hours to go. This is this is pretty interesting. We have three hours to go and not that much to do. As long as I don't accidentally take little round top. And there's a thing that happens though, if you have more units around the northern victory point than he does, the flag will change color. And that probably gives you a victory for the battle. And then you can't go on, I'm guessing. So I'm thinking, yeah, I guess all the guys came in further to the north. Might as well get everybody out of there. Also, I think his flag started to change color. So getting guys out of the north, probably a good idea. So I don't accidentally take um, the victory location. I'm content just to shoot these guys to pieces. So what I'm doing is I'm giving them kind of a corridor that they can just scoot along. Yeah, his flag started to change color, so I got the heck out of there. I'm falling back. Um, I guess I got him down to such low numbers that the game is saying, yeah, there's more of you around this location, so we're going to flip this to the CSA. That would have been a disaster. I mean, not really. I mean, you could end the battle here and it'd be just fine. Okay, that hurt. So, get a few shots back on that guy, but that was unnecessary. Yeah, now we have kind of a nice semicircle around this guy. He's not going to get up to any mischief. We've got him contained. These guys against the edge of the wall. We have two hours and 30 minutes left. Um... Yeah, we're just shooting these guys to pieces. Get some of my two-star units to charge. I didn't really think that out. I'm going to throw a couple three-star in there, keep my detached skirmishers back so he doesn't escape, but he doesn't have much of a chance of escaping. Yeah, let's go ahead and just wrap these guys up. Um, trying to hit... Uh, Keep these guys from firing into each other and giving me friendly fire casualties. Yeah, this that guy right there, 1,900 kills, lost 60. I mean, yeah, we want more of that. And it's over. Three-star infantry is no joke, and it's nice to have a bunch of them. I'm kind of wondering where my... I have 12 of these guys, and, and plus a little unit of 600... And I'm kind of wondering why they didn't show up. I didn't really notice it till I saw it on the video. 
Okay, we have two hours and 13 minutes. Um, and I can't take the flag and I can't wipe them out. So, yeah, I don't know what, you know, I, as I was looking at this, it's like, well, okay, let's chip them down to around 500. So they're ineffective. My snipers can rack up some kills. There's a unit with 3,400 kills. Did I see that right? But I don't want to. I don't want to shatter these guys or capture them. So yeah, 800 lost 20. 600 lost 17. 2400 lost 60. 1400 lost 12. Yeah, th this the first day was really bloody, but it was fun and I enjoyed it. The guys got a ton of experience, as you will see. My units got a ton of experience. My two star units. These three-star units just crushed the enemy, got a massive number of kills. Um, and I, I'm just harvesting kills. 1,500, lost 12 with that sniper. The other sniper, 730, lost nothing. Yeah, and his units are getting down. I see two units of 500, that's great. Another unit of five-something then a unit of 800 and a unit of 1100. So I can hit the 800 a couple more times and the 15, the 1100 a few more times. Um, but I, and if I shatter the three star unit, I guess that's not a bad thing. But I wanna weaken these guys so in future phases, they're undersized and inefficient, but there's enough of them the, the AI has to be able to, um, in phase four, occupy all the victory locations. And if he doesn't have enough units to do it, yeah, there a unit just shattered. If he doesn't have enough units, um, then he can't, and I just shattered another unit, so there's another unit shattered, so I have to be very careful. Yeah, 48 minutes. The, um, yeah, that... Three-star unit, I don't want him to shatter. So let him recover, maybe hit him again. But, you know, let's take it easy. That guy has a thousand kills already. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I need to back off. That He's down to 350. Yeah, I could screw this up and wipe him out. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm, I'm making this way too dangerous. Okay, that's it. The AI did not surrender. He, we're going to go on to the next day. That's great. Um, yeah, in the next two phases, I don't think he brings very much to the battlefield, so that's okay. So, second day, absolutely crushing victory. The army's in great shape. I don't think my units are the least bit tired. They're ready to go for the next phase. Um, and the Union Army has been just absolutely at this point um, just there's very little left. So I'll see you in the next phase.